All right, so here's the fraction. We want to simplify it. First step is factor. And you know, neither one of those is, is looking that appetizing because the, the coefficients are two and four. So which one do you want to tackle first? Do you want to do the numerator? You're going to have to do them both. You want to, okay, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, two. There's only one combination there. Two n and n. And you have a prime at the end, three. So you've got a couple choices here. It's, it's going to be three and one. But whether the three goes in the first binomial or the second, I don't know. You kind of have to, good. I, I think you're going to get it in one shot. Very good. Is that going to work? Six. Now, which one is, you want to get a minus five in. So which is going to be positive, though, and which is going to be negative, the one or the three? And yeah, you're, just, you're going to have to horse around with it. It's not supposed to be necessary. Yeah. That'll do it. Uh -huh. That'll do it. And now remember, I'll just tell you, just the way these problems are, one of those factors in the numerator has got to show up down here. They're, they're going to want something yeah. to cancel. But which one is it? I don't know. But I think you get some hints how to factor the denominator by looking at the factors you got in the numerator. All right, let's see if that's it. You know, it could still be um, four and one, but... Well, look, if, it's, if you're going to get the 2n plus 1 to cancel, then make that plus 1. And now figure out what the missing term over there has to be. Um, it, would have to be minus, it would have to be minus 5. And, but now check, does that work? got in the first try. It's very good. That, that hardly ever happens. Good. Yeah. So you got okay. lucky. So, so that's it. So that's step one. Factor completely. And then what's the, what do you do next? Note, Note the restrictions. And is, mm, isn't it negative one half? If n is negative one half, you'll have a problem because 2n plus 1 will be 0. Or and what's the other restriction? 5. No, wait. No. Or um, it's when 2n minus 5 will be 0. When will 2n minus 5 be 0? <coughs> when n is 5 halves or 2 and a half. So yeah, you have two restrictions. And so that's, that, that's step two. Okay. Step three is cancel the common factors. And the binomial 2n plus 1 is a common binomial factor. Those cancel. And so that's your simplified result right there. And you have your two restrictions. N cannot be negative one-half or positive five-halves. Very good.